In Matthews County, life moves at two speeds. Slow and steady. Because there are no traffic lights, it's a quiet, quiet place. The pace as predictable as the tides on the bay. But one neighbor just can't seem to adjust. I'm gonna go slow! Watch out, for God's sake! Forget about catching up with Chuck Lorette. Speed! S-P-E-E-D. The senior shifts into high gear, even at the ripe old age of... 103. Born on the bayou near New Orleans in January of 1921. Yes, totally. When he was just five years old, the centenarian dreams of flying fast. Oh, number one, oh, I was on way to life. I told you all my life wanted to fly. I was on my way. Nothing could be better, nothing. In 1940, the 19-year-old gets his wish. That's me as a flying cadet when I got, went through flight school. By joining the U.S. Army Air Corps. Yes, I did. But, you know, life was moving so fast during World War II, you kept going fast forward. Chuck is so proficient in the cockpit, he instructs would-be pilots at the beginning of the war. Exciting? You couldn't beat it on Earth. When I flew a plane, I belonged to heaven itself. The awesome majesty of mountains rising often to 20,000 feet and more is a challenge to the courage of men and the perfection of their machines. Captain Lorette finally spreads his own wings, flying dozens of supply missions in China over the towering Himalayas. But you know, World War II, it, that was brutal. One of the most dangerous assignments in the military, Mother Nature, the biggest threat. I saw my first time about the mountains below me, and they were horrible, wretched. In the late 40s, the pilot witnesses history gone in a flash, but the impact lasts decades. It was a monster. Chuck watches the test of a nuclear bomb while flying high above the Nevada desert. And then that thing went off. And I was in the plane looking with a double shield on me, everything. And it was the brightest thing I've ever seen in my life. Despite being 25 miles away, the radiation causes cancer on one side of his face. No, I was never afraid. Lorette's career accelerates on land, he eventually works with NASA's first group of astronauts and then serves the Joint Chiefs of Staff. I'm lucky, I'm lucky, I know that. But this flyer's heart remains in the clouds. It was my life, it was my life. During his 27 years in the service, AT-17, T-6, T-28. The one-time test pilot flies 27 T29, different types of aircraft. C-34. C-45, C-46, C-47. Chuck's insatiable thirst to go faster peaks in the late 1950s when he climbs into the cockpit of the F-104. Way, way up here. The Starfighter single-seat jet appears straight out of science fiction. Speed and speed only. Chuck reaches Mach 2, twice the speed of sound. Screaming. Looking straight ahead, and you remember one thing only. You could look straight ahead. If somebody was coming at you at that speed, that's a closure rate of 3,000. If you touch them, you are dust. In 1967, the man who spent more than 291 days total in the air touches down for the final time, age nipping at his heels. My eyesight got to a point where I could take off, but landing became a problem, and I let it go because I had flown and flown thousands of hours. After retiring from the military, Chuck works for General Electric. The married father retires for good and moves to Matthews 40 years ago. Unbelievable, 103? It's unreal. Chuck Lorette may be grounded these days. Life-changing, total, total. But the 103-year-old nicknamed Speedy is enjoying the slow ride while it lasts. Yes, I have, and I will do it again in a minute. I loved what I did. For I have a story. Yes, absolutely. The faster it was, the better I loved it. I'm Greg McQuaid, CBS 6 News.